Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Rich on Life Lofts. I am Richard and this is my loft. It's a beautiful day here in Middle Tennessee. Not a cloud in the sky. So let me get these birds up in the air. And I'll show you what's happening in the loft. Okay, while those guys are flying, let me start off with the tragedy of the week. I lost one of my flyers. I came in here on Thursday morning and it had, uh, I had a big king snake in here that it was wrapped around one of my pigeons. By the time I can get it loose, the pigeon was dead. So the king snake's gone and I lost a pigeon. Now over here in the weaning section, these are the four young birds that I moved out of the breeding loft that were of age. They're all doing well. And also there was five of them. I came out here yesterday morning and there was one of them hanging from the wire. It looked like it was flying up the wire. You know how young birds will do? Well, kind of walk up the wire flying and I guess it's got its head caught. I'm not quite sure, but when I got here, it was hanging from the wire. So these are the four young birds. These are all rich on life whites. They are doing pretty good. And let's step over here to the breeding section. See how everything's going over here. That pair made another nest on the floor again. I went ahead and let them. I don't know why. They never raise any babies. They always hatch and abandon. Maybe I'll try to hand raise these. I'm not quite sure. But everybody in this section is doing, doing well. Weird thing is, you see this little baby in here? It wasn't supposed to be here. This is the mama. She normally laid one egg and she's raised three babies. Well, so if she laid an egg and I put a wooden egg in. I came out about two days later and there was a second egg, which she's never laid a second egg before. So I took that egg and put in a wooden egg, but apparently I took the wooden egg and threw it away. So we have a baby here. I've cleaned out the green nest box and down here in the blue nest box, we should have two babies by now. I think. <laughs> yep. Two. The other one ha probably hatched this morning. So we've got two babies down there. And then up on the top, we have two eggs. So I'm going to clean all of this off, up and let them go. But So right now we have... Three babies in the loft. Now, over here we're doing good. We still have, oh, oh no, it hatched today. Look at that, it just hatched. Awesome. So we got one there. Can't wait to see how that turns out. That is that white hen or that white cock and the, the dark one right there in the front with the uh, silver peeking out of its wings. That's the hen for that one. Down here is the black hen and they still have two eggs. And over here, we should still have two eggs here. Yeah, we still have two eggs. 
over the old breeding pair that I got from Jack Barack. So nobody's even went into the other uh, desk boxes. The red stencil has zero interest in finding a mate. And I know we have a, an extra male or two in here, but I believe that is the head, yep, that is the hen for the green, for the green, for the green nest box. So she, if she would stop, if she would stop flying around. Chill out, girl. But other than the snake and the one baby hanging itself, all the birds are doing fine. The birds have been flying for right at about an hour every day. They're not going very far, but they are up in the air, which makes me happy. That's all 20 of them all right there grouped up. And I've also noticed they don't go very high. They stay about that height right there and they fly around just like they're doing now for about an hour. So I'm just gonna let them fly. They've been up for about 30 minutes. Still haven't gotten any higher and still basically making the same pattern. So if someone has any hints on how I can get them up in the air higher, please let me know. But they are flying in a good flock. So happy about that. It's been about an hour and they're all coming back. Let me go open the door and call them in. set for 15 minutes so we'll see how it goes hey everybody thanks for watching please like and subscribe leave me a comment I really appreciate it any interaction on the video does helps me out a lot and I will see you on the next video thank you